Honestly, I shouldn't in the last video i was like watch me go look for my phone cases and find my phone cases that i was looking for and just a little treat or whatever i found my old iphone boxes because i collect the boxes or whatever so i'm gonna show y'all all the iphone iphones that i had so y'all can see what i had going on and then i'm gonna show you my cases so y'all already know, well, this was the case on the phone that I'm recording on, which I was telling y'all, it doesn't fit the camera right, whatever. So this is that case. And then the pink case, the pink heart case, I got on this phone now. So I just switched it. Cause I, this phone is like so light, so I wanted some more weight on it. So that's why I changed the cases because the phone that I'm recording on is heavier than this phone. So yeah. All right. So let's get into it so the first iphone that i had was the iphone 7 plus i had it in the 32 gig y'all remember the 32 gig i had it in 32 gig so yeah and then i got the iphone 8 plus and i got it in the 64 gig you know that upgrade hit right and then okay so let me tell y'all what i did and then i got the 10s max in the 64 gig and then what happened was I ended up paying that phone off and I gave my phone away. You being nice. And then I got the XR. I actually got it in black to my box, but mine was black. <clears throat> I paid the phone off and then I went back to the 10X Max and this time I got the 256 gig. Then your girl upgraded and I got the 11 Pro Max. And I got it in gold, I think. Yeah, I got it in gold. But this one I got in the 64 gigs. I got to the 12 Pro Max in gold. Do I have everything? I got an extra charger. I'm going to keep this in here. One thing that I do, if I have chargers already, I'm going to leave the charger in the box because... You gotta say that you can't be wasting good charges. This is in 256. I don't have this phone no more. I gave it to my brother. I already unboxed my other phone, which I gotta put it in this pile because new girl, okay? All right, so now I'm gonna show y'all all my cases. So starting off with the, I guess, seven to eight plus. Um, this is the only case that I have left from this one. It's just a little wallet case. You open it just open it like this then you put your little card in there you put your little money put your little money in there honey all right so going to the 10s max so that one remember i got that phone twice so you know that phone was my favorite phone so far but now i'm kind of loving you girl i'm kind of but okay so first you got this case right here um, it kind of changed color over the years or whatever because I had it for a long time. 
but it's like that it's one of those kisses from from the um phone store or whatever and i just put a little pop socket on it and then i have this little glitter case does it still move so oh there you go i have this little glitter case it's getting kind of old it just has my name on it There you go. Mini Mouse case. If you know, you know. If you know me, you know. And then I got this case, which it had like a little strap on it and it had my name going across. It's real cute. And then I got this case with the little pop it or whatever. The little pop thing broke or whatever, so it doesn't stay down. But it's just a marble case and it has my name on it. Right there. And then another one of those um, cases. But this one's like really pretty. It got like the little rose petals in it. It's real cute. So, yeah. And then this one goes like that. I got it from the mall, I think. Okay, with the little glitter on it. So cute. And then another one of these. So that's it for that. This is. 11 pro max and up so first i got this one it's one of those like um designer looking cases it's like that with the mirror on it let's see how it looks with my phone oh oh it almost fits it perfectly look at that okay that's cute i know my cases don't go to waste and i can like use it consistently i'm happy now okay perfect all right boom baby all right, now we got this one. Fits my phone pretty good too. I got this We Love Shay case. I love me some We Love Shay. Looks like that. Real cute. Then I got this little flimsy one. This one has my name on it. Got this one, Princess of R and B. Miss Alia. Of course, you gotta get her. Got another one of those designer looking cases. I'm so happy these cases fit my phone. It's like that. This one, I can't use this one. This is Butterfly Case. This is another Louis Vuitton. Louis Vuitton case. It's just like the pink one. I mean, it's just like the white one, but it's pink. It's still cute. It looks like this. It's actually really cute paired together. Here goes the famous cases. This one, I noticed like these ones change color. Like they have that discoloration on it. Then I got this one. Oh, they don't want to go. But I look like that. And this is like a fake um, apple case, but I didn't really use it like that only because like the material is like that like real soft rubbery feeling and it feels like it's one of those materials where it's going to get dirty fast or whatever. So I never really wore it like that, but one of my favorite cases, this rose one, designer cases little hearts on it and stuff very cute well that's cute that's actually very pretty this one one of those designer looking cases again goes like that goes perfectly with my phone very cute favorites that's everything might do these two together One on one from one another. Be real cute. But this one, I ordered this one again for my new phone. So be very cute. So yeah, y'all. That's it for this video. And I'll see y'all next one. <laughs> hey, y'all. So right now it is 11 10 uh, at night. And this is a little after I recorded the phone cases and showing y'all what phone I had in the past and all the other stuff so um 
I found a journal that I have not written in. Um, and I thought it would be cool to turn it into like my journaling journal um, slash kind of diary thing going on take it back like old school and whatnot um i always liked writing and stuff and whatnot so i figured why not do like journal prompts and stuff like that'd be dope um right now i am just looking at random prompts and just kind of screenshotting the ones that in a way stand out without reading it too much so i'm really looking at the titles and maybe like the first one to four questions and just seeing if it's going a way that i would want to kind of just reflect and everything so um i've been looking at like manifesting i've been looking at shadow work um you know spiritual stuff and just stuff to kind of self-reflect and all the other stuff. So, I have, like, a lot of pens. I don't know where my pens are for some reason. But, I'm assuming I'm going to have to buy some more pens, which is going to be kind of annoying. I kind of started doing, like, the journal prompting and journaling before. And I just kind of stopped. And I want to just, you know, pick it up again and just kind of get in my little emotional feelings and kind of be to myself because I'm always like <sighs> I've always been like the person that struggles with one keeping people in my life and keeping people around me and everything two I was always the person I'm always the person that people comes to like when they want advice or if they want to chit chat whatever like that it's just like I know that I need to work on myself more and I know that I need to show up for myself more and that's just a, it is what it is type thing I need to depend on myself you know so it's just like yeah it's okay to have conversations with other people and you know like we get into it and I get another person's opinion or whatever like that but you know some things happen um as of recently like since since last year, like, I've been having people just randomly leave my life for no reason. I would look forward to talking to um, these people, like, on a daily basis type thing. And then it's like, they just walk out your life and they just leave, whatever like that. That's been going on, not even since last year. That's been going on since, like, 20... Long time ago. It's been a while, but it's it's just like I was telling my cousins. I said I I low key feel like, in a way, I'm cursed. Like I'm, I'm not supposed to have a certain amount of people in my life or be around or communicate with a certain amount of people for a certain amount of time. It's just like when they say some people are in your life for a reason and for a season. It's like it's literally that. Like it's like you're in my life for a reason or whatever for that season, and then you just disappear. The timing and how everything happens is, 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 you know, that's the part that I struggle with, which it is what it is type thing, but it's just, you know, that's that. It's crazy to me how people can be like in and out your life, like just like that, without a drop of a dime, without an explanation, without, you know, closure or whatever. And it's just like, yeah, it is what it is, but I always been the type of person where it's like, I always wanted to know why or like, closure or just let me know what's up let me know what i did wrong if i did something wrong let me know what i did wrong or let me know what's going on so then either i can fix me or work on me or you know focus on that aspect of myself so i can be a better person if if it's something that i did or you know if it's something going on with you like instead of just walking out my life or whatever like that um you know like just talk to me about it like i've never been Oh, I always try not to be, like, a hard person to talk to. That's one thing about me. Like, I'm very 
emotional and I get very emotionally attached to people and that's another thing that I don't like about myself so that's another reason why I'm trying to just find different things for me to work on myself and whatever like that so I got a bunch of like uh little journal prompts so I got like a good bit um so yeah so these are like little ones that I found so far so I'm going to work on that um, day by day. I don't know if I'm going to work on it today, tomorrow, or what, but yeah. Also, real quick side note, y'all. Tell me why. Okay, so I've been eating. I was eating a hot pocket, right? Why this was in my hot pocket? Why was that in the hot pocket? I don't know what that is. Uh, I'm I'm scared to know what it is. I I'm really trying not to think about it. But um, I posted it. People were saying that it looked like a tooth and whatever. I don't know if it was a tooth. If it was just hard plastic. I don't know what it was. But one thing I am going to tell you is I'm not eating no more hot pockets. I'll tell you that much showing oh baby don't worry about that never i'm over here watching team mom family reunion y'all i'm on season so it's only i'm watching it on hulu it's only season two and season three on it season two i think it was like the second episode of season two and they fighting and they spitting on each other and they doing this and they doing that and y'all it's a lot it's a lot i'm not gonna um i'm not gonna state no opinions on how i feel about anybody because i feel like my opinion might be a little biased um well not even that is i just feel like some people might not agree with my opinion which is fine or whatever but it's cool i just wanted to hop in again because i miss y'all so i just wanted to pop in and just you know say what's up whatever like that because i was going to do like just the phone video by itself but i was like why not just do it as like a little vlog why not what's the, what's the problem what's the worst that could happen you know so yeah i might come back i might not we'll see <laughs> <laughs>